we were very fortunate again to have an incredibly engaged community and as your question points out we partnered with every element of our community that we could to try to make sure we had a holistic approach and this was one of the absolute keys to our success um, cu phd is extraordinary we are very fortunate to have a very forward-looking science-driven you know data first and very ambitious and creative cu phd and i think uh you know julie pride and Oasis vade have just shown tremendous leadership and we partnered with them you know as we've done with as a university in many other public health crises we partnered with them from the beginning and this has been a tremendous uh partnership with cu phd every step of the way we also have really fantastic mayors and local community leaders and we part partnered with both the mayors of urbana and champaign who also then facilitated partnerships with our local businesses uh, many community groups etc to do lots of prospective things to help make sure that we could address the challenges that the undergrads coming back was going to represent uh, in addition to many other partners from all across campus okay as you uh, indicated you know this was just a um, tremendous communications challenge that we were able ultimately to solve you know one of the key things that allowed us to do this uh, is we all hate zoom but it turns out to be a very useful way to bring people together quickly who would otherwise be hard to get into the same room so one of the you know silver linings with COVID or one of the positive things that have come out of it is we've gotten a lot better video conferencing and it sounds simple but actually I think it's been extremely powerful to see how quickly we can get all the right stakeholders quote into the same room uh, virtually uh, and have really uh, engaging meaningful discussions where at least we can see each other and interact uh, somewhat through the video conference and so I mean it was an unbelievable string of zoom meetings I mean we you know there were days where it was from 7 30 a.m you know until 9 p.m with a few breaks in between where it was just zoom 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 and I think that was one of the ways in which we were able to bring everybody together so quickly uh, tremendous support from our staff uh, and administrators who helped us pull all those things uh, together and a tremendous willingness I mean people who just dropped everything and uh, teamed up we all knew we were in a crisis and I think again uh, a testament to this community was rather than cower under that stress or strain and crime into our uh, you know uh, caves and and hope for the best we all kind of teamed up and said we're going to push back we're going to go on offense and find a way to leverage innovation and collaboration to make a difference and you know I think uh, everyone's willingness to drop what they're doing and, and get become part of the solution uh, was was key and zoom honestly helped a lot and video conferencing to help us get there.